Hi, I'm going to show you how to use SFTP with Bianca, where SFTP is a command line program to transfer files from and to Bianca. To do this, I need to be inside of the university networks. I already did this and there are more videos how to do that there, so I won't repeat it. You can see I'm inside SUNET because I use a so-called VPN so that I'm in. And I already prepared having gone to my Bianca project using the Bianca website, bianca.upmax.uu.se. Um, so that I can see actually uh, what happens. So here's a file called File from Bianca. And that's a file I'm going to download um, using SFTP. So I'm going to put it, bring it to my local computer. If I look on my local computer, I see that there's a file there called File from Local Computer. I'm going to upload that to Bianca. So that is what I'm going to do. And for that, I'm going to use the documentation. So we're... Um, so I'm going to go back to the documentation and then um, we do our steps and that's not much to do at all. So when it's inside of SUNET, I am on that. Uh, yeah, you can also use BRACM if you want. Uh, I need to type this SFTP, use and blah, 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 blah. All right. Well, so I'm just going to copy paste this. And I know Svena replaces by my username, which is Richel. This project, this is the, the uh, Upmax project, a nice project, I should say, is, um, I'm a member of that, so I can use that. So I need to more copy this line. I do this on my local computer. This, this is my local computer, file from local computers here. I'm going to copy paste this line. I change Sven to Richel. Richel, so I make, I make a connection between my local computer and to my WARF folder on Bianca. And sometimes you'll see this pop-up with Cisco. This is my VPN. Sometimes it will disconnect and reconnect, and all I can do is just switch. So now it's connected again. You see the pop-up here. Um, this will happen all the time. All right, back to SFTP. So I make a connection with this command to my WARF folder and where I am now on my local computer. So if I press Enter, it will give a welcome message. You can turn this off if you want. I'll just show you how it looks like. I'm not going to read it. After the welcome message, it asks me for my password. So the password has two things. It has your Upmax password and your two-factor authentication password. Let's take a look at the documentation to make sure it's correct. Here, I've done that. SFTP will ask for password. That's what we see. And the password is your normal Upmax password directly followed by the six digit from the two-factor authentication app. For example, if your password is very secret and the six factor is one, two, three, four, five, six, you would type in the bubble up. You would type in the combination. All right, so I'm going to do this now. So I'm going to type in my Upmax password. And I'm not going to tell this. Done. You don't see me type. Um, but you have to trust me, I just typed it in. Um, and I'm going to open my two-factor authentication app. I'm going to look for Upmax. And there the number is 442974. Enter. And now I'm in. So um, And I'm in because I'm within SUNET. I'm in within the university network thanks to a VPN. And now I'm in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to download the file on Bianca. So here's a file from Bianca. And I'm going to upload a file on my local computer, which is here, file from local computer. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, and I need to be connected, so Cisco will be annoying sometimes. We have to wait sometimes. So first I'm going to do ls. And ls gives you a list of files. Um, I think on Bianca. And now... Uh, Cisco is reconnecting, so I just need to wait until it is connected again, and then it will show me the list of files. There it's connected, and here it says file from Bianca. So to download this, it's called get, and then the file name, enter. And now the file from Bianca is on my computer. So I'm going to start my local file explorer. I see here the file from Bianca, and if I open it, I see I see I'm a file from Bianca. Of course, this file is not sensitive data at all, else I could not have demonstrated this. So I'm, um, I'm, I'm going to delete this file, I don't need it anymore, but you can do whatever you, what you like with it.
And I'm going to upload the so-called file from local computer. That's put file from local computer, enter. Now it's uploaded to Bianca. And I'll show this to in the graphical user interface. So this thing is a refresh. And there we see our file from our local computer on Bianca in my war folder. And let's take a look at my file from a local computer. Well done. Um, here you see the path to the war folder I've been using. So um, that works very nicely. Um, SFTP can do way more, so we have an upmax guide on that, but it's just a regular program, so googling for it uh, will give you some results. You only have access to your war folder, that's because of Bianca's how she is, that's for security. So with that, I conclude this video, how to use SFTP with Bianca, and I've uploaded and downloaded the file. I wish you a very good day. Bye!